brony. Do 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 do. My little pony. Do 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 do. You may be asking me, well, Warlock Boo, why are you doing my little pony video? And I have a very good explanation for that. And that is because it is a rebuttal to another video I saw. The video was shows that you would not expect to have a, uh, anything about superheroes in. I don't remember the exact name for the video, but they mentioned My Little Pony. And up until that, I couldn't see everything they were talking about. Well, they did a whole video on the Power Ponies and the different characters and who they were based off of. And I want to say they were wrong. They were very wrong in some of the regards to what the characters were supposed to be and what their powers were derived from. And I'm going to give you examples. I'm going to tell you each character, their alternate name, and then who they got their powers from. I'll start with the most obvious, and then I'll work my way down. And some may surprise you. I know one surprises most people if I tell them it. And to start off, we'll start off with the most obvious, Fluttershy, or as her hero name, Saddle Rager. She is obviously the Hulk. It's kind of obvious. She gets mad. She turns into a giant monster and smashes everything. And that's all there is. Pinkie Pie is Philly Second, who most some people I've heard a lot say the Flash, but it's actually Quicksilver, and you can tell by the costume design. She has a much more Quicksilver style. There's also some other heroes I can't remember the name of. They're more of smaller speedsters from other universes, but she has a much more in line with their design. After that, we've got Applejack, or Mistress Marvelous. And she's actually a combination of not just Wonder Woman, but also Captain America. The combo you can see in her, the way she looks, the way she acts, and the lasso. After that, we got Rarity, or Radiance. And everyone keeps saying Green Lantern, Green Lantern. I will say you are wrong. In fact, very wrong. She is actually Star Sapphire. You can tell by the look on her, her design, the crystals all over her body, which Star Sapphire gains the abilities from, and the way her coloring looks. Star Sapphires are notoriously pink and only female. But she's obviously a Star Sapphire, not a Green Lantern. After that, we have Twilight Sparkles, or as they called her, the Masked Matterhorn. This one may surprise you. I keep seeing Doctor Strange, Doctor Fate, this guy. No, it's Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. Not, not the movie. I, it's actually the comic book. Star-Lord in the comic book was a little more serious until the movie got a hold of him, which was nice to give him more diversity. Um, but he had a weapon, and it's the same as Twilight's. A gun that could shoot any element. And if you look at Twilight's ability, she only shoots elements, ice, fire, air, water, stuff like that. And Twilight Rep shows very similar. She does the, almost the exact same thing. And then we have uh, uh, Rainbow Dash, or Zap, a combination of Storm and Thor. Her abilities are more along the line of Storm, but I think the way she does it and her look is sim more similar to Thor's. Same with personality. Then we got Spike or Humdrum. He is just a mix of every sidekick cliche there is. But at the end, he actually has a little more Robin, actually coming to the aid of them and actually helping them at the end than most other cliches would have been. Then we have the last one, the Maniac. And there are three huge inspirations here for the Maniac. I've heard Hobgoblin, Green Goblin, and to a degree... Eh, but her powers come from Medusa, a Marvel superhero with the uh, Inhumans. She has the power of hair. She can move around with her hair, stab people with her hair, transform her hair, similar to the Mania. Her gang is more along the line of the Riddler's gang. The way they act, the way they look, the way they follow her is a lot like the Riddler's gang. After that, her personality and origin stories are that of the Jokers. I mean, hands down, she is the Joker personality. She is an alternate dimension of the Joker. It should be an episode of one of the 52 universes. Just because I want to see a maniac fight Bat Pony. I am Bat Pony. 
That'd be awesome. I think uh, Big Big uh, Mac should be Bat Pony. That would just be cool for the sake of being cool. All right. Well, this was my little theory rant pony thing. And just remember, if you liked it, leave me a like, and maybe I'll do some more pony videos. If not, just say a few in the comments. But hit that like and subscribe button, and check out my Twitter while you're at it. I leave updates. And this is Warlock Boo saying bye, and remember, don't look behind you.